Hi, Matt Rosendahl from Great Lakes Home Performance again with an update on the dryer vent issue. I've got a dryer pulled out here so that we can see what this is a good way to do it because people have asked some questions about if they're not using the shiny plastic stuff, what should they use? So let's take a look at this dryer vent. I've got the dryer pulled out. You can see that there's a piece of flexible aluminum duct that goes to the dryer and they've got it secured with some aviation clamps. And you can see that there's no hard 90 degree corner or any place uh, where lint can get trapped in this. Then we go to a rigid metal duct. And this is not regular duct tape. There's a, there's a couple pieces of gray tape on here and here's some of this foil tape. If we go up a little bit further you'll see that most of this tape is, uh, is actually made for duct work. It's not actually duct tape. It's heat resistant and will stay in contact with the surface. It doesn't crystallize like regular duct tape does. So that's a pretty good way to do a dryer vent. Leave it flexible on the back so that if you do need to move the dryer out you can. Uh, and, and metal all the way out with as few hard 90 degree turns as possible. So that's it for today. I wanted to give you that an update. Take care. Be safe. Find out more at GreatLakesHomePerformance.com.